Hey you all, I'm back with another video. If you are new, hey boo, welcome to my channel. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is basically the recap video to um, how to date an older man. Cause y'all, <laughs> literally, I'm like, I wasn't gonna make another part to this video, but y'all got me down laughing. Y'all ain't even saying nothing, I'm just down laughing. Like, I might insert it somewhere on the screen, but what is going on with them views? <laughs> Why, why them views doing numbers like that now? Now I told y'all, the saying is true. Older men do know how to treat women. The number of those likes, okay? It gotta be some truth to that. <laughs> y'all like older men. You like older men, girl. <laughs> mm -mm. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You're not the only one. I like older men too. But... <laughs> Let me just let me stop let me stop joking for a minute, okay? I'm gonna get kind of serious with this video because this this one before I even get into this video, y'all. Oh my god, y'all! Y'all are not gonna y'all not gonna do this to me. Y'all not gonna turn my channel into a sugar baby channel, okay? I'm not a sugar baby. I'm not a gold digger. Do not come to my channel looking for um looking for videos about tips and clues on how to be no sugar baby that's not you're not gonna get that on my channel <laughs> i just happen to be a woman that date older men okay i'm just coming giving my stories and my experiences of dating older men I, I cannot help you be no gold digger i cannot help you be no sugar baby <laughs> and let me that's this is the way i'm gonna get serious with this video because let me just put a disclaimer in my video. Y'all are gonna hear some type of background noise, okay? It don't matter if it's a car driving, a truck driving, or whatever. So please excuse the noise, y'all. I tell all my subscribers, y'all gonna hear some type of noise in my video. Every video that I make, okay? So please, I hope the noise don't bother you. But I'm gonna get kind of serious with this video because what I'm not gonna do is, in this video, it would mainly be for younger women, okay? I'm not gonna come on here and mislead you. That's what I'm not gonna do, okay? I'm not coming on here to try to make you tell you to date older men, okay? It's your choice. I'm just giving my experiences, okay? Dating older men is not a walk in a park. <laughs> That's why I say you have to be an extremely mature woman to date an older man. When I said in the last video that you got your work cut out for you dating an older man, I really mean that, literally. Um, when you are dating an older man, you have to vet them, just, just as you would do any other guy that you date of any age group. It's a difference with dating older men because when I when I say they are gentlemen, I really do mean that. It is it is a lot of older men that are gentlemen, okay? They know how to treat women. But you are gonna have those older men that is a mag daddy, okay? You ever heard that um term old school player? Okay, that is very true. They are that it is a lot of older men out here that feel like they are they are they are a player, okay? Dating you their whole life, playing women, breaking women hearts. A lot of these older men that are um, mag daddy player type, player type type of older men, they um, they either been single their whole life or they have been, they done broke a lot of hearts. Okay, so these are the older men that you need to be aware of. These are the type of older men that you don't want to date. Okay, I done told you the ones that you should date, but these are the ones that you shouldn't date. Now y'all already know that I'm gonna give a story time. Okay. <clears throat> I wouldn't be able to give y'all no advice without giving y'all an experience of mass, okay, personally. <laughs> because I'm not finna come on here and send you off, okay? And for the people who don't, because for the people who don't know what send off mean, a send off or sending somebody off mean that you are, um, you, you fooling them, okay? You are trying to make them believe that the sky is green and it's blue. That's what sent off me. Don't let nobody come on here and send you off. Don't let nobody make it sound like rainbows and sunshine. That's what sent off me. So, older men, Mac Daddy players, these men are the very ones that you need to be watching out for, okay? Because you can't sit up and be like, oh, um, well, she told me that I should date an older man, so oh, he told me he older, let me just date him. No, you got to date him. <laughs> That's why I say you have to be a mature woman to date an older man, okay? Because you don't want to, you don't want to be caught up in his web of women that he played, okay? Because that's how a lot of older men operate. 
they have they are the real players okay they are the ones that's that's why they that's why they are able to win, woo women and treat women like a queen because they have a lot of experience dating all different types of women okay young old all types okay so they know exactly what to say they know exactly what to do to woo you to woo you up out of your draws that's one thing you don't you don't want this older man to wind it down you to the point where you drop your standards for him you end up sleeping with him okay because that's that's the main purpose why a lot of older, older men go after young women so you don't want to be that that young woman that he just oh i just got to draw some her that was that was an easy lay no <laughs> when i say date an older man i mean actually date them like don't sleep with them okay it's because a man is whining and danning you and treating you like you getting better treatment that you then you then the man of your own age you done had so he this man have treated you like a queen he didn't pay your rent for you yeah everything that you never asked for he didn't gave it to you without you he didn't done some things that you haven't even asked him to do for you he just spoiling you and just treating you like a princess that can make you drop your guard and give up the draws you don't don't do that <laughs> i don't care how much this man is doing for you how sweet he treating you he is doing it for a, a reason okay so don't give him the satisfaction to feeling like all he got to do is do that and do that and then you just gonna drop your standards for him okay <sighs> younger women <laughs> you cannot be let me just say this and then i'm gonna go into the story time older men when i say they are set in their ways i really do mean that literally okay it's their way or the highway they will use that to try to get what they want from you and they feel like because you are younger you don't have the knowledge enough to know how to say no you don't have the knowledge to put your foot down um he feel like because he older than you he has power over you that you don't really have a voice to um tell him how you feeling or tell them oh you can't do this you can't do that he feel like he running you because he older than you don't don't let this older man feel like he um he's smarter than you he better than you so to speak you know you got some certain types of older men to where they feel like they are better than a younger woman because they have more knowledge experience or whatever you know don't let don't let no man this is a man of any age don't let no man feel like he better than you okay don't let no man feel like he's smarter than you or none of that because the the number one thing a lot of older men that i have noticed even even men that you're not even dating just older men that you come across period they carry off this um air about them to where they feel like they know more than you because they older than you okay so the way to shut that down is to let him know that you are not stupid okay that's, that's gonna be that's gonna be a way to challenge this older man so um <laughs> if you listen to like I said, you gotta you gotta use your own personal experiences when it comes to considering today older men. Look at your older aunties. Look at your older cousins. Um, your um, your older sisters. If your sisters and your cousins are the same age, it around nine times out of ten, if you have older siblings, they are around the same age as the guy that you are dating. So you want to look at their relationships and compare. Okay, if your sister, your older sister or your older brother then told you about certain experiences they had with certain women and it seems as though this dude that they was dating was a F boy, okay? F boys come in all different ages, all of that. Don't think that just because you dating this older man that he just gonna be sweet as pie. Like I said, you got your work cut out for you and dating an older man, okay? Now we gonna bring in Mac Daddy, uh, old school player. You know how old school player look, okay? Now this story time that I'm about to give y'all, we gonna name this old school player Pinky, okay? And when you hear Pinky, what you think? You thinking Pinky from uh next Friday, right? <laughs> we gonna call him Pinky. Now it's not what you thinking in your head. Pinky was an old school player, okay? I'm gonna tell you why. But Pinky did not have a jerry curl. He did not have on a pink suit, okay? But he he, he did carry on that persona of Pinky, like he an old school pimp player type of dude. Um, pimp C kind of dude, you know? If y'all don't know who Pimp C is, go look him up, okay? This was the perfect epitome of Pinky. So, I'm gonna, <laughs> my sister, <laughs> me and my sister was talking about this because, let me just say to my subscribers, I appreciate y'all for supporting me. Um, don't be afraid to comment and leave a like or whatever. Um, let engage with me on my channel. Like that helps my channel grow a lot, y'all. So your support means a lot. Um, me and my sister was talking about the video. 
I like sister. I think I'm gonna make a story time about Pinky. And um, she like, you sure you wanna make a story time about him? Like, you sure you? Uh, what if he come across one of your videos? And here's the thing with that: <laughs> doing doing videos about people that you have had certain experiences with, you do kind of sit up and think like, man, is this story time worth telling? Do I need to talk about this person? I do because Pinky thought Pinky thought this was it. Pinky thought that he had he had him one. He thought he had him a goofy, okay? A goofy is a slow person, a person don't know don't know no better, naive, all of that. And I finna expose him. <laughs> because this is a certain type of older man that you need to be on the lookout for and that you do not want to date, okay, girl? So my sister had this um birthday dinner that she had invited me to. And so I you know, um I was I was thinking I was gonna pay for my sister's birthday dinner. This had we do this for each other all the time, you know. Um she had told me that she had a friend, you know, that was going to be sliding through. And so the place we had went to the steakhouse, y'all. And so when we had got there, when I had got there, you know, my little nieces was there. Um, it was like, it was like, we rolled deep up in that steakhouse. Like, it was like six or seven of us, y'all. And so we get there and Pinky there, you know. It's me, my nieces, my sister, and Pinky. And so I wasn't really paying too much and mad to him. Um, he did come across one of those type of dudes that he like his whole appearance is, is he, if he want attention. You know, that's why I don't mind making a story time about him because the one thing about older men, a lot of them really aren't tech savvy. They don't got time to be going on YouTube looking up videos and stuff. They don't do all that. Um, <laughs> and even if they did, like older men, if they younger women, they love that attention. They like to be talked about. They like to be looked at and all of that. So even if it was a situation like that so we came across my videos, he probably wouldn't even care. He probably would think it was funny, you know? But this dude, <laughs> oh my God, y'all. Um, so we sitting, we at the steakhouse, we having our dinner or whatever. So we didn't get past the dinner and everything. And I'm just, y'all already know I'm a spiritual person. Like I be reading people a lot, you know? So I'm sitting there, I'm trying to feel him out, reading him a little bit. And um, he was just like, and I'm gonna tell y'all why I can buy it. this way. This way, his name Pinky came from. So yeah, he had a a, a long. I didn't notice this until because he had ended up taking me home. Yeah, okay. This was in the winter's hand. So <laughs> we in a car on my way back home. Basically, my sister already know that I I like to date older me. Okay, she already know this about me. So basically, she was trying to pass him off to me or whatever. And I was already looking at it, like I wasn't really feeling him like that. I didn't like, you know, I didn't like his um persona. Uh, he had did something at the restaurant just had me like, mm -mm. but um, he we in the car. He he taking me home. My sister, I can't stand my sister. Yeah, my sisters always get me with this. My sisters, they think they cute. Especially my oldest sister, the one I told y'all about. She thinks she cute. Yeah, like she kept trying to hook me up with so many different people. <laughs> So I'm used to this. So I'm just, you know, trying to take one for the team. Like my sister was not feeling this dude. And I wasn't either. So we was just kind of playing, uh, we was playing tag. <laughs> like I would throw her, throw him back to her. She would throw him back to me. Like, I don't want him. Like, I don't want him either. Like, <laughs> so he, he ended up dropping me off at home. I was so mad at my sister because I didn't want to be with this dude. And so he took me home, whatever. We, we in the car talking, you know, I'm making little, I'm trying to make a little conversation with him to try to get to know him, whatever. I'm picking his brain, talking to him. He telling me little stuff, but then I noticed I did I did I noticed this at the restaurant too, yeah. His pinky, he had a like a six inch gold nail on his pinky, <laughs> like straight up pimp Mac Daddy type of player type of dude. Okay, pitch him in y'all head. Okay. You know how them old school players got, they got the suit on, they got the hat. A lot of old school players, they like to wear them hats, them Kango look. You know how them Kango hats looked it back in the day. That was his whole persona. That's what he was giving y'all. Like straight up playing Mac Daddy. And he had that gold pink. The gold pinky is what took the cake, y'all. I could not do it with that gold pinky nail, okay? That thing was like this one. <laughs> it was curved and everything, but he had that thing. That, I don't know who his nail tech was, but she did it, okay? She did her thing on that nail because that nail was like, that nail stood out for him from his whole, <laughs> it was gold, y'all. He had it painted gold. It was like some type of gold uh, polish. 
Don't laugh at me. <laughs> it had rhinestones and stuff on it. And he just kept like, he was just like talking. And his pinky just, his pinky was goddamn there about to slap me up out of the car. Yeah, I was sitting in the front seat with him. So I just kept looking at his pinky. I could, I wasn't looking at his face. And all I kept seeing was his pinky, okay? And so I was like, this dude played too much, okay? And so we sitting up talking. He trying to run his little game, trying to get my number and stuff like that. And I think my sister had gave him my number, y'all. My sisters and them always set me up like this. Um, he dropped me off at home, and this is what turned me off about him. That's how I, I already didn't like him from the start, you know. And this just took the cake. So we talking to stuff like that. He basically trying to get with me, and my nieces and them talked about him so bad. It was, oh my god, y'all. Um, okay, so Pinky dropped me off at home, and so. Before I got out, of, before I got out of the car, he was like, he was like, yeah, I really liked it too. I was, I was like, people, you at the dinner table, like a certain older guy, they they talk a certain way too, like these certain types of older men that you don't want to date, you know. I was like, yeah, I was peeping you from across the table, like I was like, I had my eye on you, and I listened in. I was just thinking like, okay. And so as I was about to get out the car, he was like, yeah, you know, um, what you got going on? And you already know what that means. When a dude say what you got going on, that means he either wants you to invite him to your place or he want to, he want, want you to go to his place. Now, imagine, you yeah, I didn't know this dude from a candy paint. I just known him from a birthday dinner, okay? This dude had the audacity to ask me if he could come into my apartment after he dropped me off. He was like, oh, um, what you got going on? You know you need some company? I need some company, okay? Your pinky giving you enough company over there. You don't need my company. Your pinky. Your pinky, okay? <laughs> you got enough company right there, sir, okay? So don't even come at me like that, asking me. He really, he literally asked me, y'all, if he could come into my place. Look, just because I sat up and had a little five, ten minute meaningless conversation with you, and you feel like you hitting it off with me, that don't mean. Yeah, I'm finna invite you into my crib. First of all, the number one red flag that I seen at the restaurant that I didn't like. Now, I don't know if this man knew that I was coming, you know. He was, he was my sister friend, okay. So, these type of Mac Daddy player, fake sugar daddy, that's why I say, do not um sit up here and be getting sent off by people online because a lot of these fake quote unquote sugar daddies, they don't be having no sugar, okay. They don't be having no cash, no money at all, okay. But basically, this dude one he wasn't giving Mac Daddy play. He he had the appearance of a sugar daddy. But them type of them type of uh quote unquote fake sugar daddies and Mac Daddy player, you know, golden pinky, um his appearance like he looked like a he looked like a throwback preacher player type of dude. You know how them preachers dress. Three piece suit, tie, all of that. Okay, that's how them old school players dress. They dress from back in the day. Them be the ones that don't be having no money. Okay, like I said, don't let appearances fool you. Appearances can fool you. Okay, so when this dude tried to invite me into his place, I'm like, How dare you? Like, the way he carried on at the restaurant, I'm not gonna say everything that transpired, but it wasn't given for me. Okay, for me to even consider dating you, you failed the test, partner. You failed. Okay, so he asked, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, he asked if he could come in. I'm like, Nah. Mm -mm. I'm like, y'all know me like that. I told him, whatever. I'm like, y'all even know me like that. Like, how you trying to invite yourself to my place? And he was just like, he was still trying to run his game. I'm like, look, I'm gone off you. So I went in the crib or whatever. He had my number, yeah, okay? So that's when the calls and texts started. My sister was literally like, girl, you better you better get on there. You better get on there, basically. You, you can call what I'm trying to say. I ain't going to say too much, okay? I don't want to give it away too much. This is this is where things went left, okay? And I pointed this out to my sister too. This is why I said in the last video, when you are considering today the older man, you need to try to figure out if this man is married, got a woman, or any of that. Because nine times out of ten, an older guy, if he just nine times out of ten, he may have a woman, okay? A woman or women or a wife. When we was at this birthday dinner, y'all, why this dude he kept going outside, y'all? He kept going outside. And I think my sister, me and my sister had a little conversation between that, talking about that. Then some woman showed up at the at the restaurant where we was at for him. 
Now it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna connect. But I'm telling y'all this conversation be it. So we was on the phone, and you know I'm trying to talk. I'm talking to him more, and I think I had asked him something. I was like, "Do you have a woman or something like that?" This man straight up, that's why I say you need to ask, okay? Don't assume that just because you are talking to or dating somebody that they just single. Because a lot of times that is not the case. If you ask, a lot of times dudes will come straight out and tell you. This dude came out and told me that he was unhappily married, okay? He was like, yeah, I'm unhappily married. And I was saying he, he, he was giving me the whole spiel on his wife. This was our first conversation on the phone, yeah. And so... I was thinking, you know, I was like trying to pick his brain, try to see like, okay, he could be a candidate, you know, he could be a sugar daddy in the making, but he was failing every test y'all, okay? So, he gets to telling me about his wife, right? He kind of alluded to something about his wife. He said, he told, this is what he told me, y'all. That's why I say y'all need to be careful with these men. He said him and his wife had all type of problems. He telling me y'all stuff that men older men share more than they need to share with you he was telling me everything about his wife like telling me everything they've been through telling me about all the fights and stuff they be having and all type of stuff and i'm just thinking like this man was literally like carrying on the conversation with me as if he was a single person he having a full-blown blown conversation with me about his wife i forgot how long he said that they was um married but it was for a nice little minute child and i was just sitting there thinking like yeah, I think his wife pulled up on us at the restaurant, y'all. Because when he was on the phone having a conversation with me, um, he kind of said something. He kind of... Older men, they slip up and tell on themselves a lot of times. So even if they don't come up, if they don't come straight out and tell you that they married they got a woman, they're going to have... They're going to say certain things to where they give themselves away, you know? Even though he did tell me he was married. And, um... I was just like that that was probably that was probably his wife that showed up to the restaurant where we was at. I guarantee you that's not the first and the last time that she done pulled up on him and other women. And I, I called my sister after I got off the phone with him. I was trying to cut the conversation short because once he said Mary, once Mary left his lips, I was very, I, we, the conversation was done after that. When you tell me that you married and you have a woman, we have nothing else to talk about. I don't have nothing else to say to you. I already wasn't interested in you in the beginning. But that just took the cake right there. Some men be very co completely disrespectful. And it is us women out there. Like I said, they will willingly date a married man. They don't care. Um, if this man seems like he got money or uh, so the type of man that'll take care of them, they they not they not gonna care if a man has a wife or not. I care about stuff like that. I don't care. I, I don't care if you are a billionaire millionaire. There is not that much money in the world that you could give me to entertain you. That is very dirty and nasty for a married man to be trying to go after another woman like you in a whole commitment sir why are you over here trying to entertain me talking about you could take care of me give me money all this and that but you got a wife at home a wife in a sometimes nine times i've seen a whole family okay a lot of these people that be married they be married like 10 20 15 plus years now it's sadly to say that a lot of those marriages where the men will cheat they either get bored or they just not in love with the woman no more like sadly that that is a lot of the situations like that's why i say like it ain't that much much history in the world for me to be sitting up putting up with disrespect from from me okay i don't care how much history we got i'm not gonna be pulling up on you at restaurants with other women like I, he literally gave himself away out he been cheating on that woman for a long a lo 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 long time okay don't get yourself caught up with no man like that because that's what that's how a lot of people end up getting killed a lot of situations go left like that when you are willingly dealing with somebody that's in a marriage or a relationship you playing with fire doing it he may end up turning out to be a nut job or his wife a girlfriend you don't want to put yourself in the land of fire dealing with no dude that's in a relationship or a marriage i don't care Sis, i don't care if this man that paid your rent for up to two years gave you Drop some money on you, then took you on a shopping spree in Chicago downtown on Michigan Avenue, then took you to Rodeo Drive in LA. I don't care what he didn't gave you. Please get out that situation. Now, if you didn't know that he's married, that the, the situation is different. But that's why you got to vet a man. Being in a relationship or a marriage, that ain't really nothing you can have for too long, you know? Unless the person is just really not paying attention or they just not they just naive and they, they don't know how to pick up on clues. But you are gonna know within the first month of dating a dude if he got a girlfriend or wife. You gonna know. 
you, you gotta pay attention to stuff like that. Y'all don't wanna be nobody mistress, nobody second option. That's why I said, don't come on my channel looking for no sugar baby um, gold digger videos because that's not what my channel is about. You know, I have dated several older men, but it was literally for the experience, dating, not sleeping with the dude, none of that stuff. It was literally dates, good times, good conversations, all of that, okay? People think good time means sex. No, good times is exactly what it is. Don't get it missing screw. That's not what it is up over here. I will send somebody off in a minute. I am the sent off queen when it comes to dudes, okay? I will send somebody off so many times. Dudes that have tried to date me or talk to me in the past, they will tell you. She just sent me off so many times. I didn't get sent off so many times. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all know y'all gonna hear some type of noise in my video, but still. Don't be scared to tell no dude. No, don't be scared to send nobody off either. Send them off before he send you off. Don't let no dude send you off. You better send him off. Especially if he coming with this uh this whole Mac Daddy um player player type of dude. But as soon as that man told me he was married, number was blocked, he raced all of it. Ain't nothing you could say to me. Ain't nothing you could do for me now. You need to get on off the phone with me and go with your wife. Certain women, certain women be they they get off on stuff like that. They like they like messing with married men. They like being the second woman. I, I don't see the purpose in that. Some women literally feel like they can make a man leave his wife or girlfriend. In a lot of those instances, that is that that is the case. But why would you? This this is my analogy of it. How you get them is how you lose them. Okay. So if you so so if you so happen to take this man away from his wife and his girlfriend. The same thing gonna happen to you. I like I say, I like to put myself in other people's shoes. Okay, if I was a woman and I was married to a man, he was cheating on me, and um, you gotta put yourself in other people's shoes. Like if you was married and your man was messing around with a whole bunch of younger women on uh, behind your back and stuff like that, you know you ain't gonna be okay with that. You know you would not be okay with that. So why would you do that to somebody else? Doing to others is you would want done unto you. Okay. Ain't none, no type of good benefit you're gonna get out of dealing with a married man or a man that's in a relationship. This this is a man of any uh, age group. But the only reason why I'm prefacing older men because they, they got it bad with stuff like this. Only because they have experience, they have a lot of experience with uh, women. If this man be, have a wife, <laughs> it be men that be married be carrying on multiple relationships with multiple women. Some of the women know and some of the women don't know. How is it that you can kick? That, that's how you know a dude is a player. The older men got it down packed when it comes to being a player. Them are the main ones you gotta watch out for. I ain't finna be coming on here trying to tell you that they no older men. Some older men are, like I said in the last video, they are sweet, they are very kind hearted. Those, those men are rare to come across. But you got them back daddy players too, that you need to be on the lookout for. I know that this stuff is real because I be seeing it on social media a lot. For my views to be looking like that on how today older men, I know it's a lot of young ladies out here that stay older men. I know. It gotta be. Because why my views like that? <laughs> uh uh, yeah. Mm mm. I ain't gonna come on here and see you off now. You, you have to be. You have to be cut from a certain cloth, a certain kind of woman to deal with the older men. You, you can't be naive. That's one thing. Because they, they gonna, they gonna prey on you. The older men is gonna prey on you. That's why I say don't sleep with them. Get all the fun experiences you can with this dude. You can't have fun with a dude without him sleeping with them. That's another thing about dating. People don't know the difference between dating. Dating is dating. Dating is sleeping with somebody that's totally different. Seeing somebody, talking to somebody, Take your time and get to know people. Men specifically. They, they are going to reveal to you who they are. You don't, don't, don't feel like you got to sleep. This is for younger women. Don't feel like you got to sleep with no man just to keep his interest. If you feel like you got to do all that to keep his interest, that's not the dude you need to be dating. Don't don't let no dude pressure, pressure you into having sex with him either. Some dudes are going to come right out and ask you, but a lot of times, if, if this is an older man... His way of pressuring you into having sex is going to be all the things he do for you. That's going to be his way of trying to get into your pants. Bad paying your bills. Um, taking you to all these elaborate, expensive dates. 
um, plane trips, shopping sprees, all of that is to get in your pants. You have to have those standards and tell him, no, I don't care how much you give me. I'm not sleeping with you. You got to stick to those standards. Because them old school players, Mac Daddies, this old man period, they going to lay it on thick with the game. You know, you have to know how to properly bet someone. The only reason why I know so much about how to date older men is because my, my brothers, I have brothers. I have several brothers. I ain't never, I've had my heart breaks with me in my naive moments. Every woman has had a naive moment with men, but my brothers, are, they ain't playing that. They ain't playing no men trying to, uh, they ain't coming, they ain't finna let that happen. They ain't finna let no, uh, no, uh, men try to play their young sister. If you have older siblings, uh, if you have older siblings, brothers and cousins, stuff like that, they gonna put you up on game. You're not finna be out here lost. You don't be afraid to talk to your older siblings too about the people that you are dating. Nine times out of ten, the situation probably ain't gonna get too far because if you got, oh, my brothers are extremely overprotective about me. <laughs> That's why I feel like I have had so much success with they being and they have not been able to run no game up on me because my brothers don't play that. My brothers be ready to pull up about me or any of my other sisters. Okay, it's it's a lot of us. I have seven. It's seven of us. So I have more brothers. Okay, they ain't playing that. They will come pull up on you. They will come find you. <laughs> So you gotta have some when you are considering to date people. Get get your family involved, get your friends involved. Don't be in the dark. A lot of a lot of times why women get played by certain men is because they don't have people and they don't have that support system. Let people in on your life. Don't don't be trying to live no super uh, private life. Because you can end up getting yourself caught in a situation that you feel like you can't get yourself out of. You need to let people know about what's going on with you. You ain't gotta tell them all your business, but just let them know a little bit of something so they can know. They need to know this dude's name, how he look. Nine times out of ten, they need to know where he live, all of that. It's a lot of women getting murdered too, situations like this. I spoke in a video previously about the woman who had got murdered in her apartment by her sugar daddy. This stuff is serious, y'all. Be careful with that too. I, I said in another video that men are extremely sensitive. They, they don't play about their money and they don't play about their feelings. So if this man is sponsoring your lifestyle and taking care of you like that, because it is situations like that to where a man is funding your whole lifestyle. But you got to be extremely careful with them types of men because you don't know where their headspace at. Get to know this man, know where his mental state is, know where his emotions is. Um, if this man is extremely emotional, that's another thing about me that I have always, I've never liked overly emotional men. If you too emotional in your feelings, that is a turn off because you are supposed to be a man. Ain't no way I should have more um, emotional intelligence than you as a man. But it's a lot of men that are extremely sensitive. So y'all women be careful. These men don't be playing out here. It's a lot of women turning up murdered from uh, messing around playing with a man's feelings. So that's another thing I wanted to, hopefully you stay staying tuned in enough because like I said, a lot of times I feel like God be giving me certain messages to tell y'all. Like, I may come on here and joke and laugh with y'all a little bit, but really it is a message behind everything that I say. I'm not going to be coming on here misleading y'all or nothing. It's too many young women losing their lives and just don't know, confused, because they didn't have that guidance from their they father, their brothers, their cousins. They, they may be the only child. They may not know how to operate those type of relationships. But be extremely careful. This man giving you money and all this and that, you, this man... Y'all, y'all women be careful out here. They need older men, okay? Make sure this man is not married or in a relationship. He been in a relationship with this woman for years, 10, 20 plus years, and she been cheating on him all these years. What you think this, what you think this woman, um, mental state is dealing with all that? Cause nine times out of 10, she know he a dog, okay? What do you think her mental state is? She may end up wanting to come find you and pull up on you. You may or may not even know, but say for instance, you don't know that he married. And this woman found out about you. You may be her third or fourth straw on him. You hear these stories about snap, about women snapping out and killing they, they husbands and they um real life, yeah. Stop letting this uh, social media stuff, this glamour lifestyle online, um cloud your judgment. Use your, use your brain when it comes to dating these men. Know the difference between an illusion and real life, okay? 
a lot of the stuff that you see on man it's illusion it's not it's not real people not giving a per the uh the uh the downsides behind their lifestyle they ain't, they only gonna come show you what's good they're not gonna show you what's behind it a lot of times those situations is it's not it's not something that you need like i said the connection should be genuine and if it's anything other than that don't do it but thank y'all for watching my video hopefully y'all enjoyed it stay tuned for the summer haul it's coming up okay y'all i got some goodies that i want to show y'all so if you are up on my channel and you love my haul stay tuned for the next haul it's coming very soon okay so y'all already know that i gotta give y'all uh i gotta give y'all a preview of what's to come on my haul are you gonna come watch my haul girl you gonna stay tuned for my haul that i got coming up you gonna come you gonna come to me and see what what goodies i got i hope so but y'all don't sleep on dollar tree because i had went in there to give me some lashes because these lashes i don't usually like the way these lashes i don't like them big now this is not the shade the women that love the big drink because it look it look good on certain people i don't like them big stupid looking lashes but i think i, I got them on today i think i had seen <laughs> yeah i had seen uh this dude he said something on his channel he was like if you got them little big drag looking um bad looking lashes don't know man wants you and all this and that. i'm like well he ain't gonna want me today because i had to grab me some lashes from the store because you know how you be feeling when you don't have your lashes on it just your lashes just complete your whole makeup your whole face your whole outfit your look so you feel naked without it so i got on a pair of them right now i got these from dollar tree y'all do not sleep on dollar tree getting very much mink lashes okay dollar tree ain't dollar tree no more but still you know that's a steal and i got another pair that i wanted to show y'all it's gonna be a little preview a little teaser of my haul that's coming up that y'all need to stay tuned for okay get on over to dollar tree because they giving okay these are the ones that i usually like the way i like for my lashes to look a little natural okay so get on over go go stock up on these okay a lot of times i like to try to get them when they like fully stock i already know the ladies up on these lashes because a lot of times i go up in there and i can't find none okay if you are last minute trying to go somewhere and you ain't got no lashes you better go hit up dollar tree girl and stay tuned for the next haul because y'all want to know where i'm wearing these what am i getting with these okay i went to that below with my daughter i think my daughter got my daughter got a shopping problem just like her mama okay i'm trying to calm her down y'all but i ain't making it no better where am I gonna wear these? To? Tell me these ain't giving, okay? Tell me you gonna tune, tune into my clothing haul that's coming up very soon. You wanna know what I'm gonna put with this outfit? You wanna stay tuned, baby. You wanna stay tuned, okay? You wanna see how I'm gonna pair this these glasses with the outfit? Stay tuned, okay? And thank you for watching my channel. And I will see you in the next video.